Hi guys, it's Night Fear, um, and I'm coming on to do an Ollie's and a Hobby Lobby haul. And I was trying to figure out which one to do first. Um, I think I'm going to do the Ollie's haul real, for, real fast, then I'm going to do the Hobby Lobby haul. Neither one of them is very large, um, but I just wanted to share with you, and I didn't want to make two separate videos um, to do this. So uh, a lot of my bookish friends are crafty, a lot of my crafty friends are bookish. So I figured you guys wouldn't mind, for those of you that do mind, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but today I had a 15% off um, little of uh, your whole entire purchase at, at Ollie's, and so I bought a few books, we bought a few other things for the house. Um, so I couldn't get as many books as I wanted, um, but I did get a few. Um, so the first one I got um, is called Brightly Burning by Alexa. Dawn, Dawn, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, um, but this is an AI story, um, and I've been really liking, um, a and I didn't even look at the covers, I've been really liking AI, ooh, that's pretty, uh, AI stories lately, um, so yeah, um, so I got that, and normally it's $17.99, I got it for $1.99 at Ollie's, plus the 15% off, um, yeah, so I did really well. <laughs> um, the next one I got, strangely enough, um, is um, Bright We Burn. So I'm like going for the burning theme, I guess. Uh, and this is the third one in the um, And I Darken series um, by Kristen White. I have I got the first one at Ollie's. I think I don't think I have the second one though. I just think I have the first one. Um, and I paid this one was a dollar ninety nine also. Um, but yeah, and I've read Anti Darken and I've read Now I Rise. Um, I started this one. I got like, a, I don't know. I just, I started it, but I didn't, I didn't go anywhere with it. Ooh, that's pretty on the, on the front of that. And, um, but yeah, uh, so I, like I said, I, I, well, not in this video, but the other video, I like Kristen White's writing. Um, so I want to get some of her books as I can, as I see them. Uh, and so, yeah, but this is, uh, the trilogy of Vlad the Impaler story as Vlad as a girl. It's really, really good. The first one was slow, but I really enjoyed it. It's got a lot of history, uh, and things to it. The second one was a little more action, a little, um, more fighting, uh, so this one should be real interesting because the way the second one ended up. And so I'm really excited to read this one. Then um, I have been um, wanting to change some things about myself. Um, I want to kind of increase my spirituality. Um, and I am a Christian. I'm Mormon. Um, but I also want to do not meditations, but like affirmations and, you know, finding more self-worth, I guess, uh, and do some things like that. So I want to have more positive things in my life. And it's funny because I was thinking about this, that I needed to get a book. And so somebody was behind me as I was looking at some of the books and I just turned around and saw this book. Um, it's a hundred devotions. It's, it's always enough on one side. Like this side is always enough. And this side is a different book. So it's one of those flip books and each side has its own little, little bookmark. Um, but there it's a hundred, like I said, a hundred devotions. And so they're just little, um, things that you read, like even when you make mistakes and then you kind of read about that. Or um, even when you can't live up to an invisible standard. Uh, so, you know, it's just kind of like positive affirmations, devotions kind of thing. Um, and it was only, it was $2.99. It was $2.99. And now that I did that, I can take this off. Um, but yeah, see, it's never too much and always enough. Um, yeah, so I figured I will you know, do this, try to do this every day or every other day or something. I'll figure out a way to do this, um, starting in the new year. Uh, yeah. And maybe I'll do it and then do it and do it maybe three times in a year. I don't know who knows, but, but I was just, I was excited and that was only two ninety nine, So I was excited about that. Um, yeah. See, and it says, 
Um, we've all been there. We know that sneaking small voice in our heads all too well. You're too loud, too quiet, too young, too old, too silly, too serious, not important enough, not pretty enough. You know, and it just goes on from there. So that, it's the perfect book because I have those voices in my head, um, you know, that tell me I'm not enough of whatever. So, yeah. And then the last book I got. So the last thing I'm going to share with you from Ollie's, um, I got the Slow Cooker uh, book. It is Taste of Home from 2015. This book was only a $1.99 hardcover. Um, and it's got the recipes and the beautiful pictures um, and we love using our slow cooker. It is, it's wonderful. Um, I love just having, you know, everything in one pot, so to, sh so to say. Um, and yeah, and I love collecting recipe books. They had several, um, there's one that I really want, but it's $10. <laughs> so it's just a little bit too much, you know, than I can afford right now, but I, I could do a dollar ninety nine for this one. So yeah. All right. So those are the books that I bought. So now on to the things that I got at Hobby Lobby. Now, I usually don't go to Hobby Lobby that often, um, but I know you guys have, if you've been with me any length of time, um, you've seen me buy these before, the scrap packs. Um, and right now, all of the Paper Studio stuff, oh, well, it would have been too late because that's today. Today's Saturday. Anyway, for this week, it was 50% off all the Paper Studio stuff. Usually, I do the buy one where I buy because it's like buy one, get one free when you get two of these. But today, I didn't have, you know, the extra couple dollars, so I just did half off of this. Um, and so, basically, what this is, and yeah, somebody had already opened it, but it, it it's okay. There, I mean, it doesn't look like anything's missing. Um, but this is cardstock um, that they can't sell, and it's in different sizes already cut down for you. Uh, and so I use this. These are the perfect things to use for my planners. I especially love to use this size for lists and things. I'll just, um, and see, isn't that a pretty, ah, sorry. Um, it's a pretty, real pretty color. It's like a blue, um, you know, and there's pink. But you just, you don't get to decide what colors. You just have to kind of, um, and these are good, you know, for different things. Um, these are a good size. You cut them down just a little smaller. These are a great size for pocket litter. Um, you know, to put the backers on your pocket letters. Um, so I just get this, um, cause it's great to do different things with, um, in my planner or other things. Um, and then you get a different, different colors. Of course, sometimes I don't like the colors, um, but I figured red and green, I could do something for Christmas, maybe for something. And, you know, so who knows, I'll add this to the other ones, um, I have, but I was just starting to get a little low on some, some of the sizes. So, cause I've been using it. Um, like I said, for my planners. Okay. Then I also, they were having uh, a sale on the single, single papers that were from 44 cents to 80 something cents. I think they were four for a dollar. So I got one of the, um, spiderweb because I don't have any more of the spiderweb paper because I used it all the last time. Um, and I really like this paper and yes, I know Halloween is over, but I can always save it for next year. I got one of the snowflake papers. Maybe I might want to do something with it. I don't know. I just liked it. And then these two papers I got because they match the next thing I'm going to show you. Um, I'm thinking about making maybe a, a folder or, um, doing a divider or doing something with these to go into, like I said, my next thing. And that is my new Happy Planner. Um, now, these are not the discs that came on. Um, sorry about the glare. I will be doing a flip through and I'll be showing you the discs that it originally came on because these are metal discs. These are expander metal discs that I also bought today. Um, they're the pink, the, the pink metal, let's see, metal discs. Um, but this is a, this is called the... Uh, classic spring floral faith and this is a faith planner um, I just decided that I wanted a faith planner and um, it was between this one and the Psalms one and this one has a couple things in it which I will share with you when I flip through it and I'm gonna flip through it on a different video because I don't want this video to be too long so I'm gonna take my time and flip through and show you some things on the, on the other video so but that's what I but anyway so as you can see the paper 
you know, matches pretty well. And it matches the florals that are actually in the planner. So, all right, guys. So that's what I got at Ollie's and Hobby Lobby today. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've read any of the books that I showed you, um, if you're also a happy planner girl or guy, um, let me know that too. If you like to plan, um, I'm finding that anymore that if it's in a planner, I do it. If it's not, I don't. <laughs> um, so I have to make myself accountable and this is a great way to make myself accountable. So anyway, guys, please remember to always be kind to one another and I'll see you again soon. Bye.